million dollar man rusts to bits will not be shown at this time in order that we may bring you the following boring exercise program. Ah, the open air, the open road. What a nice day for a long, healthy bike ride. Hold it, hold it, Boots. You're supposed to be back at the studio breaking a television program. Get off that bike right now. Rock. What? We're in the studio. This is the program. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is embarrassing. I, I can never get used to those uh, very clever special effects. What are we doing? How you doing? Yeah, Pop. I'm doing 70 miles an hour. 70? 70 miles an hour? Slow down. Come down. Slow down. We're in a 30 mile an hour zone, you dummy. Slow down. Yeah, but good. Listen, I'm warning you. She's <laughs> at the cops. <laughs> and now, swim. Oh, oh, we going to swim now, are we? Are we going to the beach, sir? No. We are going to do this mathematical problem. Ooh. Settle down. Settle down. Now, from this point to this point is one third of a mile. Now, a man comes down, and he jumps in the water, swims across here, turns around, goes right back, and then a third time back and stops here. What has he done? Oh, sir, sir. Right. He's ended up on the opposite side of the river from where he left his clothes. <laughs> Hi ho, hi ho! It's off to work we go with a high five Rod. and a hope, hope. Hi. Um, what are you doing in that miner up there? I have become a miner. Why? Why would you want to become a miner? So that I can collect family allowance checks for myself. This confusion has got to stop. Hmm? Ross, there are two types of miner. Huh? One is the type who digs things out of holes in the ground. The other type of miner is a kid who is eligible for family allowance and who cannot go see restricted movies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean, despite the fact that I am wearing my miner's helmet, I can't collect my family allowance check? I'm afraid not. No. What? You did say I could see uh, dirty movies? Yeah, you can go see dirty movies, and you can also see all the good ones, because for some reason, beyond my comprehension, all the good movies are restricted. Hmm. Hi ho, hi ho, dirty movies, here I go. <laughs> there you are. Where on earth have you been? Playing off, Dad. It's three o'clock in the morning. Now that game ended eight hours ago. The arena is just down the road. I was worried half to death. I phoned the police, I phoned off hospital, and another thing. You know I cannot leave this house while the cat's sick. I'm sorry, Dad. Well, where have you been for the last eight hours? I got an eight-hour penalty. What? Yeah, just for swallowing the puck. <laughs> hey, Rodney, when kids play hockey, why do they have to wear basket cages over their faces? Oh, that doesn't stop them from biting each other. <laughs> I just took one shot on the goaltender and they gave me a game misconduct. That sounds a bit harsh. Well, some dumb rule about not being able to use a gun. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, your team played really well last night. 
for a change. Yeah, but I wasn't playing last night, Tanya. Yeah, and I hear the team made out really well last night. For a change. Yeah, but if I wasn't goaltender for our team last week, we would have lost 20 to nothing. Well, what was the score then? 22 to nothing. I sort of put two in myself. You should have been coming to the opposite team. Your team might have won. I'm going to kill you, Tanya. I'm going to kill you. What is this? Outside, cycling on a beautiful day like this in the fresh air, you should be at home watching cartoons on television. I'm not outside, Dad. What? It's a special effect. I have it on TV. Oh. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, you've done it again. We lost 28 to nothing. Never in my career. My coaching career, have I ever seen such a complete lack of team spirit and play? Oh, you're standing out there ignoring each other. Now, you know what that means? We lost every game this season. Well done. That's a record we can be proud of and that other teams of the future can strive to achieve. Let's hear it. We're number 38. Good. We're number 38. We're number 38. We're number 38. Rodney? What do you think you're doing? Push ups. Push ups? Oh, no. They'll make you even fitter than you are. Oh, no, no. You need to get fat, not fit. Here. Have some ice cream. There you are, my boy. Yes. I, I don't want any ands, ifs, or buts. Fatness before fitness. Here. Well, Tanya, as your doctor, I have to advise you to take less exercise and eat more junk food for the bad of your health. You know, I used to have a lot of fun exercising my dog. Uh, we'd run along together for miles. And then I got a car, and, well, you know how it is. The dog learned how to drive. Now he drives along slowly, and I run behind from fire hydrant to fire hydrant. <laughs> Still a lot of fun. There's only one thing stopping me from being on the hockey team. Oh, yeah? What's that? The coach. <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of advantages to an exercise bicycle. For instance, you can go cycling in the rain and not get wet. You can... <laughs> oh, this is just a special effect, right? I mean, when the cameras turn off, I'll be dry. No, I didn't think so. There's only two things stop me from being a star soccer player. Oh, yeah? What two things? My feet. Oh. No, Rodney. Working for Mr. Barth is sure one way to keep fit. What do you mean? You want him to stop running. Guys, uh, Phil, run in here and uh, clean the maggots out of this hamburger mix. You see? <laughs> There's only two things stop me from being a stutter basketball player. This time, you're probably going to say your hands. No, feet again. I'm two feet, too short. <laughs> Ready? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Aren't I supposed to get a last request? Oh, I was hoping we'd skip that part this time. No way. Oh, my buddy, it's your last request. I want to go jogging. Jogging? <laughs> yeah. Come on. I've been on this training program for the last month. I don't want to interrupt it. All right. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Fine. The firing squad and I are going jogging with you. Hey, amigos. Hut, two, three, four. Hut. I used to go jogging, but I found that I could go farther, faster on this exercise bicycle. <laughs> My dad encourages me to go jogging with him. He says that it will build me up. Now, what I want to know is, if jogging is going to build me up, how come he thinks it's going to trim him down? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, look at this. Going jogging, eh, son? No, can't go jogging tonight, Dad. It's too much homework. That's bad. You know, too much sedentary work and you'll wind up in the same shape that I'm in. I know I should go jogging, but, um, I don't know, I just uh, don't seem to have the energy. I've got an idea. Hmm? You do my homework for me, and I'll go jogging for you. That's brilliant, son. I'll be fit in no time. Okay, it's pages 18 through 8. Gotcha. A -a 18 through 80? Come on! Come on, come back here. Oh. Oh. Hey, what took you 
so long. I must be out of condition. I think I should take up this jogging, too. Well, let's get on with it. I haven't got much time. Ready? Aim? Hold it! Hold it! The firing squad isn't even back from jogging yet. Well, I can't wait around any longer. I got a plane at the gym for my workout. All right. Oh, oh, what? What? Alicia, you'll be back here again same time tomorrow. <laughs> Follow it, Moose. Moose, get off the bike. Hey. Don't talk back. Just get off the bike. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Look out. What are you trying to do? I, uh, no, what do you mean? I found out that the more exercise you do, the better it is. It makes you younger. It's really young. So I'm going to keep peddling. Until I'm young enough to collect my family allowance. Well, it doesn't work that way. What do you mean? Well, exercise will make you look younger and feel younger, and it'll probably keep you looking younger and feeling younger a little bit longer, but it won't get you your family allowance check. Uh, you think you're so smart, don't you? Well, you're not. Moose, wait a minute, Moose. How do you stop this? I had a job here at one silk, but I couldn't hold it down. Oh, yeah? What'd you do? I ate one of Burr's burger. Ah, I heard that. <laughs> Moose? You know, I've been thinking. No, gee, that's not like you. What? <laughs> Just reading the cue cards, Ross. Oh. Okay. Well, that's all right, then. No, what I was thinking was, it's uh, really unfair that only kids should be allowed to get those uh, family allowance checks. Well, there is a solution to that problem. Really? Sure, all you got to do is have some kids and then you can take their checks. Oh. <laughs> the patter of the feet, those little bodies cuddling up against me, reading them to sleep. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm kissing their cuts. <laughs> all that kind of slush. No way. I'm telling you, some sacrifices are just too great. Forget it. Hey, Zilch, hmm. how come Barf is in such a rotten mood today? It was terrible. Someone broke in here last night and they ripped off a whole week's supply of hamburger bits. Oh, they should be easy to find. Just check the hospitals for a severe case of food poisoning. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> Dad? Uh, yeah? If the tub is being filled from two taps, one flowing at 15 liters a minute and the other flowing at 8 liters a minute, and the tub holds 230 liters, how long would it take to fill that tub? No, uh, Rodney, please. You, you know I can't do those uh, complicated new math problems. You know that. Huh. Yeah. Okay, then, Dad. If a wine vat was being filled with wine from two wine presses, one flowing at 15 liters a minute and the other flowing at 8 liters a minute, how long would it take to fill that wine vat? Now, there, not that, it is a good question. That's a good question. Ten. Ten minutes. You know, one of the major advantages of this thing is that it doesn't get flat. <laughs> uh, most. Um, all right, class. Now, who can tell me where P. King is? Sir. Tanya. Tanya, you know where P. King is? Yes, sir. Peking is the capital city of China, sir. No. No, no, no. Stupid girl. What do I care about China? I want to know where Peking is. Paul King. He hasn't been here for two days. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. Hi, buddy. Why don't you take a load off your feet? Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> right. uh, up, up. Concerns for father's well-being doesn't have anything to do with the recently discovered fact that when he lies down, all the change falls out of his pocket, does it? <laughs> That's one sneaky kid. <laughs> Busted my neck. What do you think you're doing, Zelch? I was washing the farm, Mr. Burster. Ah, you washed it last summer. And that's when I slipped and busted my arm, remember? I'm sorry, but I, I dirty floor is a health hazard. I had to wash it. Listen, it's more of a health hazard when you wash it 
Yeah, birds are great, so. Hmm? Yeah, we don't have to eat off the floors too often. But have you ever tried washing a plate here? Oh, I heard that. Well, I don't Never mind. Look, I'm sick and tired of you reaching your hand across in front of me for a cookie. Haven't you got uh, a tongue in your head? Yeah, but no way is my tongue long enough to reach those cookies from here. <laughs> You can't do that on television. We'll be back after these. You can't do that on television. Ah, hey man. Let's see now. What event are you going to go into in the uh, Inter Dungeon Game? Uh, cross country running? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you think I'm a dumb cop or something? Get out of it, that country race. No, no. I'm going to put you down for long distance bicycle. Long distance bicycle racing? Mm -hmm. Don't go away. I'll go get your bike. I'm free bicycle racing. Blue sky, open horizon. I can't wait. Sorry, sir. Open country? Don't break the speed limit. Another good thing about an exercise bike is that you don't need brakes. Unless you're going down hill. Congratulations, Yvette. You've been chosen to take part in the archery contest. All right, bow and arrow. I always wanted a bow and arrow. How do you mean bow and arrow? Don't be ridiculous. You don't get no bow and arrow. You are the target. She is around. At the zoo. So he brings it to a policeman, and then the policeman says, Well, I suggest that you bring it back to the zoo. The man says, Okay, sure, I'll do that. So he goes to the zoo, and then he brings it back the next day. And the policeman says, Well, why didn't, didn't you bring it to the zoo? And then he says, Yeah, we had such a good time to do that. We're going to, that I'm bringing it to the movies today. And what did one match say to the other match? I don't know what. Let me light your fire. <laughs> why did the elephant wear diapers to the party? I don't know why. He didn't want to be a party pooper. <laughs> I bought this baby because the salesman told me it would save on gas and it's quicker than walking. That was some salesman. 28. 29. 30. That's it. God, that was just terrific. 30. Ah, oh, so you keep that up, kid. And you are going to... You'll be really fit. You, you'll have a trim tummy for her the rest of your life. Well, what happened to your stomach, Dad? Oh, well, oh that, that's a long story, kid. Twenty-three years of drinking beer. No, no, don't, kid, don't. I couldn't. Found another one. Stop. Hey, man. Hey, tell me, kid. Uh, how'd you enjoy the action? One day I had to make a delivery to a hockey team, and unfortunately I didn't get out of the dressing room before they had a chance to taste one of Mr. Burr's burgers. Die! <laughs> Mike, I want you to take those garbage cans out to the road for me. Oh, come on, Dad. i got to keep my strength up for tomorrow's game. Game? Forget game. There'll be no tomorrow for you if you don't take those garbage cans out. Now! <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> just think of them as, uh, the training weights. <laughs> Rodney, what do you think you're doing? I'm actually 
exercising, sir. Oh, <laughs> you'd like to exercise, do you? Yes, sir. Good. Get your exercise book, turn to page 97, and we'll do every mathematical exercise to page 136. And give me those dumbbells. Dumbbell. Oh. Did you tell me when I bought this exercise bike that I wouldn't have to lift weights anymore? Ha! Huh. You should try lugging this thing around. Uh, good, healthy mind and a strong body. What? Do you uh, lift weights, sir? Lift weights? Oh, no, no. I, I, I don't have to. I get enough exercise strapping you turkeys. <laughs> I haven't had my exercise for today. You. <laughs> I know. Uh, one, two, three, down, two, three. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Up, two, three, down. That's good. Now, legs apart. That's it. Uh, now, on the count. Well, yeah, together. That's it. One and two, and one and two, and one and two. You know, the family that exercises together stays together. Up, 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 up. Snap it up. I've already got a two-wheeler bike, but it doesn't have any gears on it, and I want a ten-speed. So I told my mother, I wish I could have a 10-speed. Then she shouted at me and said, I love as many things I haven't got. Now what I want to know is, if you can't want anything you haven't got, what else is there to want for? <laughs> okay, Moose, off the bike. Why? Never mind why, just... That's it, now turn around. Around, around, around this way. Very good, your feet don't go pitter-patter. Your voice is squeaky, well, not too squeaky. Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, let's see. How about uh, bedtime stories? Do I have to read your bedtime stories? Oh, no, I can read my own bedtime stories as long Very as they're good. written on cue cards. Oh, cue cards. Yeah. Uh, school lunch, if I don't have to carry a school. No, I have my own brown bag. Oh, uh, this actually sounds like a very good deal. What deal, Ross? Not Ross. Call me Daddy. Daddy. I am going to adopt you, and then I can collect your family allowance check. <laughs> oh, come on now, Ross. I know you're just maybe a bit money mad, but this is a bit ridiculous. Money mad? How dare you speak to your father like that? Your own flesh and blood. You should be ashamed of yourself. And by the way, your mother is very upset when you talk like this. She should be ill. Ross, um, you know, you might actually be good at this father business. But it costs a lot more to raise kids than what you get for family allowance check. It really does? Ah, uh, raising kids costs money. Lots of money. Well, well why does anybody bother? Just me. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah, what is it? If the kid was good in school, does that mean he'll be a winner all his life? Oh, no, no, no. No, a lot of smart guys... I went to school with, boy, they crapped out in life. Okay. And, Dad, if mm -hmm. the kid is bad in school, does that mean he's going to be a loser all his life? No, no. No, it's just the same thing. Absolutely not. No. Thanks, Dad. That's nice to know. What? Because I just filled all my subjects. Who mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> seems pretty attached to that exercise bike, so. Oh, come on. He's only drank because he's just on his script. I don't know. I think she wishes she could ride it home. Council Bob on television has been a flat tire production. Here's a final thought. Anyone who is only five pounds overweight is carrying around this much extra fat. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Think about it. 